A bit of comic relief is always welcome, even if he will then have to engage in negotiations about the city's difficult financial situation. Part mayor, part comedian, Jon Gnar has no problem shifting roles. Politics used to bore him, but since the financial crisis, he's considered it his duty as a citizen to get involved. I saw an opportunity to take all this anger and all this hatred and hopelessness and disappointment and, you know, deal with it, you know, so, it, so, it wouldn't, so, so nobody would get hurt. And I don't think people realize this, how, how lucky they are to have me here <laughs> instead of some, some uh, evil-minded bastard, you know. Uh, it could, could so easily happen. Jon Gnar's only actual campaign promise was to support the weak and underprivileged. Everything else from his best party was satire, including the campaign video. Gnar and his friends make fun of politicians who portray themselves as rescuers. The members of the best party never used to have anything to do with politics. They're filmmakers, musicians or actors. Now the party leaders meet every two weeks to exchange ideas. Not being experts is part of their platform. I uh, admit freely that I, uh, I am, uh, I am uh, powerless towards uh, the system in general. Uh, and I, I don't have all the know-how and the experience or the education uh, but uh, I seek uh, advice and counsel from people I trust. Hjalmar Sveinsson is one of those people whose specialised knowledge Jon Gnar trusts. Sveinsson's an expert on the environment and urban planning. He's a member of the Social Democrats who formed a coalition with the Best Party. He enjoys the collaboration. These are smart people who have accumulated a lot of life experience and wisdom. And that's all you really need as a politician. You acquire knowledge gradually. The new mayor initially had trouble distinguishing millions and billions. One of his first acts in office was to modernize the dilapidated electricity works. Jon Gnar got advisors from the university, fired almost 70 people and raised the power rates. Economists lauded him for it. And even the people of Reykjavik are predominantly enthusiastic about him. He's a different mayor, and we like uh, changing and uh, not always the uh, same route. He's just himself, and he doesn't know everything, and he has, does not have a, like a standard questions or like a standard answer with uh, questions. Breaking the mold is also important for Otta Proper, one of Gnar's close associates. <laughs> Proper is actually a punk musician known as Dr. Spock. Now he's in charge of Reykjavik schools, though his first loyalty is still to punk. We've even developed some code words. It's very, you just, uh, uh, you, can, you can yell out at somebody, your, your, uh, your tie is getting uh, very tight or something, <laughs> and people know what's, what's happening. So it's very important for us as a group. And so, at the presentation of a prize at City Hall, the mayor entertains the citizens of Reykjavik with anecdotes from the days when he drove a taxi. And he wears his anarchist pullover to the budget meeting. When things are dressed in humour, he claims, everything is easier.